Hello guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Kiki and today I'm joining Yvonne from Ginger Chic Rehab and Yanni and Diane from Deco Easy on the second hand DIY home decor animal edition. And I'm super duper excited because I will be making something beautiful using a farmhouse style and a farm animal. And my son wants to keep the DIYs because he loves the paper I'll be using. So, oh, let's get started. <laughs> and these are the two items we will be using to make our projects. And the first one is this key holder box that a friend gave me and this animal counting wooden puzzle that I got from a thrift store and it doesn't have all the numbers, so I cannot use it but it will be perfect for this project. And for our animal, what we're gonna use for our farm animal, it's this paper I found at Walmart and it has two beautiful horses and I'm gonna use both sheets. First we're gonna take our box and we're gonna remove those hanging thingies that it has in the back because we're not gonna use them. And now I'm going to take that antique wax and I'm going to give it a good coat, but I won't like how it turns out. And I'm going to paint it using another color. And I covered it completely. And now I'm taking my box and I'm adding that to the bottom that I shouldn't be painting. <laughs> but I'm adding the antique wax to the sides. Now I started painting what I should be painting. <laughs> And I'm gonna cover it completely like that. And after we cover that completely, we're gonna let it dry, both of those pieces. That tray looks beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. And now I'm gonna cover the inside of the box using black paint and a foam brush and I like those brush strokes that I'm making so I won't be correcting that. Just paint all over it like so and let it dry. And now I'm taking my horses and I'm gonna glue them to my box and I'm using that wooden piece from the other box <laughs> to just score my ends so I can cut my paper. Now I have it cut and I'm gonna dump a lot of hot glue. Oh. Hot glue, no. <laughs> a lot of Elmer's glue to my piece. And I'm gonna add my horses like that. And I'm gonna look for a tool. If you have it, you can use it. But I'm gonna use my fingers for this. And I'm gonna remove all the bubbles that I can remove. And add lots more Elmer's glue like that to the top and let it dry now I'm gonna do the same with our box that's gonna be a tray and I'm gonna mark that and cut it like so and I'm gonna cut a little bit more after I dump lots of Elmer's glue to the bottom. I'm gonna cut a little bit more so we can fit. I cut the excess and glue it to the bottom of our tray. Like that. And over here I don't want to be so perfect because I want to leave some bubbles on my paper. So as you can see I'm just moving my fingers around but nothing too fancy and adding my top coat of Elmer's glue 
we let it dry and we move on to our other step. Now I'm painting the key holder with burnt umber because it won't match my tray. So I'm gonna give it two coats, let it dry, and now I'm just cutting the excess on our tray like that, the excess paper, so we can add some handles to our tray. And now we're gonna add our handles. I'm gonna make a knot on my rope and another knot like that. And I'm gonna add hot glue and glue them to the side. But don't worry, we're gonna also add some nails. Now I'm gonna add those nails over there. And now you're gonna see me hammer those nails. Repeat on the other side. And this is how they turned out. As you can see, we have our beautiful tray over here and the bubbles make it look perfect. I love each and every one of those bubbles. And we have also our key holder box. And that's how they look together. And this is the box. I love it, but my son took it before I could get too comfy with it. And this is the inside. He doesn't want me to have it. <laughs> I just want to take this opportunity to thank Jani and Yvonne for bringing us this awesome challenge. I love how this turned out. I would love to have them for myself, but my son got them. <laughs> and remember, if you like it, hit the thumbs up. If you love it, subscribe so you can keep on watching these type of videos. Take care. Bye-bye.